Hi guys, welcome back to Mentology by Lola. Today I wanted to share another challenge with you uh, that I decided I was going to do. This one is a 500 subby challenge from Crafting Cake with Billy. And she had several things that you could do, like, you know, the usual, like it, like her video and comment. Um, she'd like a shabby chic ornament, um, maybe a memory dex, some sort of embellishment set, maybe an embellishment box, and then some sort of craft that you'd call your own. Well, she wanted shabby chic, and so I went through my stuff and saw, what can I do? So this is all the stuff that I made her. I'm going to try to stick it into a mailer. We'll see how that goes. I really don't want to send another box because that seems to be my MO is a box, and they're getting very expensive. So um, this is all the goodness, and then I will just do it one at a time for you guys to see. Okay, so... I guess we'll start with this little one. Okay, so let me move all this stuff off to the side. Hopefully it's out of the way. So I had just done this from Shabby Chic Boutique. It was a free printable. So it's just a little envelope. It's a free printable. It's kind of cute. Put a little, um, I put a little stamp on it, a little mailer. And I had done a, a hidden paper clip that I thought was really shabby that I had in my stash that I just pulled out. So I liked that. And then inside of here, I just put two little embellishments for her. One is my Vintage Bride bottle cap, and it's got lace and roses and pearls, and I put it on a filig piece of filigree, and I made these years ago, but they're pretty shabby, and I hung on to them um, because I just love the way they turned out. So pretty. And then I had an old quilt that I cut apart, and I think some of you guys might have seen these. I don't know. I've sent them in other... Um, other swaps and stuff but it's just a cut out heart and it's got some really fun yarn kind of eyelash yarn a little vintage button and some seam binding and then some lace and stuff and I thought with all the stuff that she does maybe she could use it in a book or something so that's the first thing we will put that all aside um then I I found this and I thought this was perfect uh, this is one of Joanne's Park Lane clear stickers. Show me the glitter. And then on the back, it says, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. And I thought that was kind of vintagey. These were barrettes that are on sale or gosh, they're not even on sale. They're on clearance um, at Hobby Lobby in the front of the store where they have that jewelry display. Super cheap. So I bought those and thought those would be a really cute clothes for this and to be honest i can't remember what's in this one. Oh, this one is i won't take this out this is just some goodies but i did include in my goodies i made her a one of my beaded pens and i thought this one was very very sweet because i did the lace over the lace overlay on the beads and then white pearls and then everything is pink and white so i thought she might like that but we won't show you all the goodies because if she watches this video she should have at least one surprise right Okay, so we're going to move all that. All right. Then we'll go into this little one. And this one um, I made. This was, oh, these are so old. <laughs> these are like Michael's years and years ago. Another bobby clip thing. But it actually was in the scrapbooking, which is what gave me the idea of using the pearl bobby pin. Okay. So I took some vellum and I made my own, um, my own envelope. And in here... I have, I thought this was kind of fun. This is a little mini scrapbook on a huge paper clip. So I've got this cute tassel I made, just has fun stuff. Cute little charms up on there. And it's all, uh, gosh, I wish I could tell you the paper line, but um, I don't remember. And it was, a, it was a six by six pad, which was perfect. And then I just pulled out embellishments that didn't go with it that I had with the bird and the gem and the flowers and stuff. And it's just very simple. So you just open it up and I just embellished it. Wonderful life. And then spring has sprung. And then here it just on the back says, hello, butterfly dream. So it's just a teeny tiny little thing. I mean, I don't even know if you could get three pictures in it, but it's very decorative, right? Which is kind of what we're all about, right, people? Okay, then um, I did, this was from Geneva from um, 
purposely crafting the divine intervention. She had gifted me these bags. She had made them, and I thought this was perfect for the shabby chic thing. And so she had asked for a uh, embellishment box. Well, I, oops, it's a little wrinkled there. I remember I made these for Valentine's Day, and I did this one that was a little bit less Valentine's-y and a little bit more just romantic, but same container, used some lace and some doilies and used some stickers and some of the little jemmies, and then I just filled it with all sorts of pink and white yumminess and some beads and stuff. So hopefully she'll like that. Inside it just says, sweetie. So it's kind of, um, it, it's not really Valentine's Day, but it kind of is Valentine's Day because it still has hearts on it. But I always think of, you know, love it can be hearts anytime. It can be used at any time, right? No matter what. Then I just dug out a bag, a pink and white bag, and put just a little, I just made a little tiny rosette and put a butterfly on it, just a pink clip that she can undo. And what did I put in here? You guys, I've been wanting to film this for over a week. Oh, okay. So this was really fun. Um, I decided to make her a chunky charm. But instead of just making a chunky charm, I took it a step further and I used a spool. So I took a vintage spool and I painted it white, put a bead and a uh, charm holder up on top, did some more beads underneath, did some lace, and then I did all of this yumminess. I, I think it turned out so pretty. It's got keys and it's got the heart in the key. And I just made it all hearty because I love to do that. I love hearts. Or my, that is kind of my thing. I put a crown on there and I put a love letter charm on there. And there's heart beads and flower beads and like one little green bow and some green and white. I tried to keep it in the same family. I'm not sure that that's really in the family, but I was trying to pick up the green from the ribbon up here. So I did a little flower bead here and there's the green rondelles. And then I just needed one more piece of green down here. And that's why I put the that piece of, it's resin, it's just a resin bow, plastic bow. But I hope she likes that. So that is also for her. And then my piece of resistance, cause she said, so I did everything. I didn't. I really didn't really stick with what I was supposed to do. I didn't really, which is not usually me. I I am the one who begs for forgiveness instead of asking for permission. Um, I wanted to do something kind of different for her, and I loved making these. I haven't made them in forever. First, let's talk about the cute bag. These are totally Hobby Lobby cute bags. Nothing. They are so cheap, and they're like a little handled Ziploc bag. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. So what I did was. I made her, oh, I can get it out here, I made her a thimble um, pin cushion. So I went into my stash and I chose all the things I wanted to use in it. And I originally decided on this fabric. And so then I did everything around this fabric. So I did the fabric and then I did a burgundy, which is a really dark version of this color in here. Then I took some lace that already had the rhinestone through it. And then I put some braided trim down here. I put a flower, some beads, some more trim. And then underneath, so it sits nicely on her desk, I put a little pink doily on there. And then I decided to make, I said, I can't just send her a, a, a stick pin, um, or a stick pin, a pin cushion with no stick pins. So I just kind of went to town and made a bunch of, um, you can see them all. I did all very shabby chic, very pink, all sorts of um, stick pins. So she has a lot of them that she can use for whatever, or she can just leave it as decoration in her room. So um, that is what I did for Crafting Cake with Billy for her 500 subby giveaway. You guys should go over there, see her. I'm sure there's plenty of time. She had quite the extensive list of things that you could do for it. I kind of went over the, over the top and did a lot. I don't think you have to do that much. So go out, head over there and see her. Thank you so much for stopping by, you guys. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.